oh my god, it's so early, and we're driving through the hills of Wisconsin, and we're not in the Sunspot Fan. Where are we going, Mike? We're going to the Wisconsin Music Arts Festival in Monroe, Wisconsin today, the land of uh, cheese. Cheese. There More is a cheese. lot of cheese. And, and, and there's a brewery there, too. Yes, and so it's going to be, uh, we're going to see some music industry and some networking stuff and things like that, so it's fun. So it's and gonna... we have to get there quickly because there's a storm behind us. <gasps> All right, and here we are in the Monroe High School dressing room, and I have to say, uh, this is nicer than almost any place we play. First of all, there are several dressing rooms. Then, it even comes with its own Emily. Emily from Broad Gem, say hi. Hello. Hi. Another dressing room with a piano so you can practice while you're uh, naked. And then a green room. It's a high school with a green room. Um, just saying. And they also have donuts and things like that. And, um, High school is cooler than a bar. Okay. Okay. Well, we're on our way back now uh, from the Wisconsin Music Arts Festival in Monroe. We're back in Madison. But anyway, we had a good time today. Uh, check this out. Now, this is live music producer Tom Jackson. He was like the featured speaker today. It was awesome. And this is with my coworker Emily. She's a singer-songwriter. And he works to help her with her song a little bit. Check it out. I would not tell every every song, every so story, and all that. But things like the first time you said this, this song, you kind of said something like, "This song talks about when you're feeling." Songs don't talk; people do. I would just go right to the story, which is exactly you did. Mm -hmm. So there's this guy, you know, that did a, that a, and and particularly if you're a singer songwriter, you can kind of keep a dialogue going for the night with stories and themes. Uh, to keep, you know, it's like a movie. You know how there's there's a main theme, then there's a sub theme. That's what keeps keeps it interesting. You ever read a book at night and you're like, I gotta go to work in the morning, and you're reading, and a new chapter comes in, new character, different p part of the plot. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll read another half. Also hour. speaking today was my boss Roy Elkins from Broad Gem, and here's a little bit of him. We have the show we gotta do in September. We have the CD release party coming up, and it's all scheduled. Well, let me tell you this one. Products are not late or early in the customer's mind. They're good or bad. That's it. They like it or don't. So if you have to spend that extra money to get it where you like it, and we've all recorded songs, and every time we hear that, going from that verse to the chorus, man, I wish I would have read it. Then go back and redo it. Now, you're never going to get the song to the point where uh, we have every song I listen to that I've ever worked on, so, man, I wish I would have read it. But you gotta get it to a certain. And here's everybody's favorite punk rock fucker, Martin Atkins. What about a band aid? Resist the urge to do this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a band <bad> name. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, so I, I, I have a video camera with me all the time. And I'm like, how do you, how do you say that? And he couldn't pronounce his own band name on my video. <laughs> and he begged, I've got the footage somewhere. He begged me not to show anybody that thing. And I, so far I haven't. It was like two years ago. And I actually, honestly, I just couldn't find it. Otherwise, he'd be on screen now just pronouncing his own band name. So there you have it. That was the Wisconsin Music Arts Festival. And quite a great day, a very busy day, and a lot of things that we... Um, learned and got to And I got experience? mistaken for the Bodines today. Me oh, our, that's right. Me and our friend Alejandro, somebody walked up because the Bodines are playing tomorrow night. They're like, you're the Bodines, aren't you? And Alejandro doesn't know who they are. He's a younger guy. So he's like, yeah. She's like, I knew it. I'm like, wait, you can't just tell this chick we're the Bodines. And anyway, that was funny. That was hilarious. And I bought cheese. So that's right. it for this week's Road Mania. We'll Thank you very see much you for tuning next in. Next week from the studio as we start recording uh, our new EP. So we'll see you next time on Sunspot Road Mania! How do you turn this thing?